Alright guys, here we go. I've got a fun little video here. This is going to be on my Tegra Note 7. And I'm a little excited about this video just because first time I've actually done some real development myself. Normally I just report on other people's work. But uh, this was uh, actually kind of a collaboration between me and Matt Groff. I wrote the script and he helped me pull files and things like that to get this uh, functional. So this is going to be again on the um, Tegra Note, Vi Note 7, NVIDIA Tegra Note 7. And this is going to be uh, what I call the Tegra Note 7 uh, Super Tool. So we're going to show you guys how to use it. Um, so let me show you first of all where to get it. This is your device right here. So I'll show you where to get it really quick. Uh, you can get it from right here. This is my website for uh, files. So these are all my devices and you can click on the device you have. And right here is where I've got this thing, but I've got all kinds of goodies. And you're going to want to download this one right here. NVIDIA Tegra Note 7 Super Tool 1.1 Zip. And go ahead and download it. Um, you can also check out my videos, obviously, on my RootJunkie.com site or, obviously, YouTube. So, we got that kind of cleared. I'm going to show you where it downloads to. Basically, right here. And you're going to extract it. So, open, extract. I got 7-zip on my computer. And you're going to come out with that file, which is right here. So, this is what it's going to look like for you. Okay? Um, hopefully, that's uh, pretty clear. And you guys can get to this point. So you're going to have all these files. I don't think you're going to have the impactor, but it is what it is. Drivers are up here if you need them. Universal Naked Drivers should function for you. And, um, and then you've got your tool right here. So that being said, let's go ahead into the device and kind of do some prerequisites, get some things set up on this thing. So first thing you're going to need to do is obviously plug into your USB cable into your computer and get it plugged in. Um, once it's plugged in, you're just going to go over here and you're going to go to settings, scroll down to about tablet, and you need to get USB debugging turned on. So to do this, we're just going to go right here to uh, build number, and you're going to keep tapping on it, and you see what it says right down there? You're almost a developer. You are now a developer. Hit back, and you should have this now, developer options. So you're going to click on developer options. You're going to look for USB debugging. Make sure it's turned on on the top and then click on USB debugging, little checkbox, say OK. And your computer, you can see my computer is picking it up. And then you're going to click on yes, always allow from this computer and hit OK. Um, your drivers might be installing there. You might need to run some of the driver stuff. I have that folder up there in the top corner. So that's where you got to get to. Now that we're here, we should have, you can see the little Android USB debugging right here, Jelly Bean guy right there. That means you're connected, and now we can start running the tool to show you how this works and show you some cool stuff on it. So here we go. This is the tool. So you got the file extract, the folder open. You're just going to click on this one start super tool and click on it. And we'll open it up like that so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so first thing we need to do is just press any key on your keyboard. And these are your options. So you have you can unlock your bootloader. You can fast boot restore the Tegra Note 7 on Android 4.3 if you have an unlocked bootloader because they're not signed images, but they are images that will restore your device. Um, you can flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, or you can root your device in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Those are my options. So first of all, obviously everything requires an unlocked bootloader, so we have to do option one first. So hit one on your keyboard and hit enter and it talks about this is going to factory reset your device um, make sure you have your drivers installed your USB debugging installed all that kind of stuff gives you a little bit of uh, information on it and then it says press any key to unlock your tablet's bootloader so let's push the spacebar again and it's going to boot you into boot menu should look like that um, once you're here it just tells you what you're going to do next and when you want to be ready to do it just hit spacebar again and it's going to talk to you about what options to press on the next screen. And here you go. This is your unlock bootloader screen. So all you got to do is come over here with your volume up and down. Scroll down to unlock and then hit power. And you can see on the computer it's uh, erasing some stuff over here. Erasing user data and it's going to wipe and factory reset your whole device. 
Um, as soon as it's done, you'll be back to the boot menu right there, just like that. And press any key to reboot device now. So just press any key. And you will have an unlocked bootloader, a factory reset device, and it's going to boot up here for the first time. It does say that the first time can take you know up to 10 minutes uh, on first boot. So very, very cool. We're just going to let this thing boot up here, and I'm going to go through some other options. So right now we can go ahead and uh, select enter to return, and it's going to restart the tool, and we can go to the next option on the tool. It does do two reboots. You saw that. When you unlock the bootloader, that is a standard thing that it does right there, so don't be freaking out. It's like you're in a boot loop. You're not. It's just what happens when you, uh, when you do this. So on the utility, let's go ahead and press any key again. And... I'm going to show you the restore, but we're actually going to do it last because it's kind of like a fail safe. So I'm going to do all the hacking and stuff and clock recovery and all that kind of goodies. And then we'll go into that step. So as soon as this thing reboots, uh, we'll go to flash clockwork recovery, which is option three. We can actually select that already while we're waiting. Option three. So it just talks about that it's going to flash it and press any key to continue. But since we just unlocked the bootloader, we probably need to make sure that we have USB debugging turned on first. Probably need to put a note in there in the script on that. So let's let this thing boot up. We can actually push enter here. I'll, I'll show you, watch. So um, push any beat. Okay, so let's just go through it. So you can see it's factory reset. And I'm just going to kind of shoot through this setup really fast. Just kind of skim through it. Should be connecting everything. And then we got to turn on USB debugging one more time. But you should know how to do this at this point, so it should be pretty easy. There we go. Settings. About. Build number. Okay. Back. Developer. USB debugging. Okay. See it's connecting the computer again, always allow, okay, and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and run the recovery script here. Press spacebar, and it's basically just going to flash recovery. And then it says you can do two things. You can scroll down to recovery kernel right there um, and push power to select it, or you can press any key to reboot. So I'm going to push any key to reboot. Uh, we have recovery, but we're going to get Super Sue, and you'll show you recovery with Super Sue. So let's go ahead and reboot. Right there, you could boot into recovery and do an Android backup or any of that kind of stuff if you guys wanted to. Um, but that's how we got it. So enter, press enter again, and we'll restart the utility one more time. And again, continue. All right, so as soon as this boots up, we're going to do this one. We're going to root device through recovery with Super Sue. So it's pretty simple. You can see Android debugging is still functioning. So we're just going to hit option four. And it just says again, make sure it's USB debugging is turned on. Um, this will push Super Sue to your device and you'll boot into recovery. So there you go. It just push Super Sue. So hit uh, space bar, enter again. And this will reboot you into recovery. Obviously this step requires recovery. To be installed already that's why it's option four um, and we're going to go ahead and follow the directions on the screen here that tell you what to do here in recovery once it boots up now you can see recovery is upside down which is just a little annoying but you can just flip the device around really easily and it's not a big deal it's just upside down so we had to make it so i'm just going to go ahead and show it to you so you're just going to go to um, install zip and the first one that's highlighted there is choose zip from sd card Next one is zero folder. Scroll down to downloads. And then right there you can see there's the Super Sue zip highlighted. So go ahead and select it. Again, say yes to flash it. It's going to go ahead and flash really quick. There you go. So then we're going to go back. And then the top option right there says see reboot system now. So select that. And you should have root access. Everything should boot up. Um, and that's pretty much it. So over here in the script, you can just push any key and hit enter, and it'll again restart the utility. So you can see we do have um, Clockwork Mod Recovery, which you can make your backups. You can flash your different stuff, ROMs and things like that. Obviously, I just flashed Super Sue with it. 
and I will show you that Super Sue is on the device now. Right there it is. Super user or Super Sue. No thanks. There we go. You have root access, you have custom recovery, uh, you have unlocked bootloader all there running with this pretty simple script. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how to just do a full rest restore on this thing. Again, it does require an unlock bootloader. So let's go back to our script. Any key to unlock the beast. We're going to say option two. Note that it does say unlock bootloader required. And go ahead and go option two. And then again, just talks about um, what to do here. So you could normally just use the script to just reboot you into bootloader, but I want you guys to understand how to manually get into it. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to power off the device. And we're going to manually get into bootloader mode to flash these uh, files here in fastboot. And if you need to unlock your bootloader, you could technically do it manually like this too and do some different things, but this is just a good way to get into it. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and hold volume up and power. Uh, when you have your cable plugged in here, it doesn't work too well. So we're going to unplug volume up on your device and power. Hold on volume up first, then power. And it does talk about this in the script. And before it continues, scroll down to Fastboot Protocol and click it. You see a little flash, and then plug your cable back in. If I can do this. All right, there you go. You can see it connecting and disconnecting from my computer. So we're in Fastboot Protocol, um, and everything's looking good. Directions are, like I said, on the script. So let's go ahead and say press any key to continue. So we'll hit spacebar. And it's going to go ahead and erase your system. It's going to flash a new system image over to your device. Um, once it's done flashing system image, it's going to write it. And then you're going to flash boot partition or boot image. And you're going to flash recovery image. So this is going to put your device totally back to stock. You will continue to have an unlocked bootloader. But um, everything else is going to be back to stock. It will reset your USB debugging. All that stuff, you'll lose super user, everything will be back to Android 4.3 on the Tegra Note 7. Okay, there you go. Um, then it just says you can you can choose here. So you can do two things here. It says you can either on the script you can either go ahead and um, push any key and it'll wipe data, which is be recommended if you're trying to full do a full restore so you don't get any boot loops. Or if you want to hopefully save your data on your device. You can just close the script and then manually come over here and hit power and it'll select continue and it'll boot normally. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wipe data just to show you. So hit spacebar. And you can see it is erasing user data. Now this does erase the internal SD card but not the external. So the one on the side you put on the side should not get erased. But anything that's saved on the internal SD card will get erased by doing this. Um, you can see it's sending and writing, doing all that kind of good stuff to the device. Should be almost done. Cache, and there you go. So you're now on stock Android 4.3, wiped clean, totally reset. You still have an unblocked bootloader. Press any key to reboot the device, and the device is rebooting and enter to get back to the utility. So first startup again takes up to 10 minutes. Once it's done, you'll sign in just like you normally do with like a new device. Mm -hmm. Go through the start menu and sign into the device, sign into your Wi-Fi, your Google account, and all those goodies. Um, that's pretty much it. That's how the script works right now. Maybe I'll add more features to it as time goes on and give you guys an update. But uh, for right now, that's what I've got. Again, huge thanks to Matt Groff for helping me with this. Uh, huge thanks to Chainfire for Super Sue, um, and all you guys who worked on the Tegra Note 7 doing some development here and there. This has been a fun device for me, learning a lot on this thing. So I'm going to show you just the startup really quick, and that'll be wrapping it up. You guys can go ahead and close out the utility. That's all four steps and how they work. So we'll go ahead and close it. And you can close out your folder with all that stuff, too, if you want to. Um, I'm going to make a quick note here. This is called Impactor. If you want, you can get it from the same download page under Programs. And it's got an easy way to install drivers once you launch it, which is pretty cool. Um, not too bad. So here you go, startup screen. Go ahead and shoot through it just like you normally would. And there you go. Again, back to stock. 
you did lose your custom recovery, you lost root access, you can see there is no super suit in here, and you're back to stock recovery. Technically, you should be able to receive OT updates again, and whatever they push out to you, everything should be a stock system. So, hope you guys like it. I hope you do, because I made a little bit of the script, so it's kind of fun. Um, and it helps out some of you guys. Again, follow my stuff, YouTube brewjunkie.com, all those good stuff, and I'll uh, we'll try to keep you updates on more on this device. Talk to you guys later. Root Junkie out.